Welcome to the final Brawl of the Wild. It is the annual Cat Grizz game, the biggest rivalry in the state. Montana State leads this rivalry in this series with a 9-3 and record. Can they get their 10th win now of the series against the Grizzlies, who are looking for just their fourth win, of course, and it's going to be without their quarterback, James Hasbro. So now Clint Cooper, the senior backup quarterback, is going to have to try to lead them to an upset victory today. They also have a running back that's down with injuries so Montana getting hurt throughout the season and it's not going to be helping them today. Thompson is their leading receiver in pretty much every receiving category. Their offensive line is okay outside of the two guys that have allowed 21 sacks total between the two of them and their defense looks to be fine. Calvin Berg, the senior, does have four interceptions but Montana State will also not be at 100%. Kevin Thomas is going to be having a one game suspension on him so both teams are going to be missing some key players. The Grizzlies definitely missing quite a few more though down the midfield for the coin toss Montana State wins and they choose to defer so here we are kicking off the 13th Brawl of the Wild game in this series. The kick is going to go all the way down to the goal line. Thompson, their leading receiver and impact player, is going to be on the return here, and it's going to be a good one. Taking that to the left side gets just across the 35-yard line out officially at the 37. So now here is backup quarterback Clint Cooper, and he's going to be letting it fly on the first play from scrimmage, but a bit too far out of reach for Scott Flores. Cooper now on the quarterback draw. He's going to take it up the middle. He's going to get brought down for a loss of one, though. Third down. Cooper looking to throw. Moving to his right. Some good pocket awareness, but he floats it in the double man coverage. Incomplete pass, and the Bobcat defense forces a three and out. Here's a handoff now to Carter. He's going to take that one to the left side. Some nice moves made there as he picks up a gain of nine. Give it to Carter again. He goes right up the gut. First down yardage as Montana State moves the chains. Now Brett McPherson off of the play fake, moving to his left, launching that one downfield, but that was a tough throw to make. Still got it in the vicinity of Will Black. Back to the ground game now with Ryan Carter. He goes up the middle, picking up a gain of six. Now faced with third down. It's going to be a quick throw. It's going to be picked off by Adam Manning. The safety jumping in front of the pass, or the cornerback jumping in front of the pass there. I need my man to make a little bit of a play on the ball there instead of just getting bullied for the interception. Montana has this football going their way with some great field position. Here's a direct snap now to Doby, and he's going to take that one up the middle for a gain of seven. Now Cooper throwing that one to the right side, this time in that triple man coverage, not the best read there, and Montana's going to have to come up for this field goal attempt, it is wide left and no good, no team on the board yet, still tied at zero. Montana State now looking to see what they can do off of that missed field goal, connection there to Will Black, and it looks like he got pushed over the line of scrimmage or the first down marker, indeed he did. Now McPherson over the middle, a great read there to Marcus Lumpkin, the impact receiver getting us into Grizzlies territory, gain a 22 on the play. McPherson dropping back to throw, no over the middle, he's got his tight end Dunbar, the tackle is missed, he is gone, touchdown Montana State, how about that for your first receiving touchdown, the sophomore tight end is in for six, a 40 yard gain right there, a great throw and catch, testing that single man coverage, and after that missed tackle, Dunbar is not even the fastest guy in the world, but there was no one else in the vicinity. Gabriel Fields out for the extra point. It's going to be off the upright and no good. So Montana State will just have a six-point lead. Final minute of the first quarter. Clint Cooper letting that one fly to the right side. And he's got Scott Flores for the first down. A big pickup there getting out to the 42-yard line. Cooper letting this one fly to the end zone. And it's going to be caught by Flores again. Touchdown, Montana. And what is the Bobcats secondary doing? Just make a play or do something. No, we had two guys back there. And they both just refused to make a play on the ball. And kind of just watch Flores jump up there, get the touchdown, and take the early lead as they do hit their extra point. That pass is going to be a little bit off the mark and incomplete. Back to the ground game now with Ryan Carter, and that's going to be a solid pickup of nine, setting up third down and short. Handoff goes to Carter, he takes it up the middle, and that's going to move the chains on third down. Already the fifth first down for Montana State today. Up the middle goes Cronin, and there's first down number six. He gets punished up the middle, but a solid run. That takes us to the second quarter of play. Now Ryan Carter taking this one to the right side, pulls out a couple of spin moves down the right side, fumbling out of bounds, so it doesn't matter. A big time run there for the impact running back. 
McPherson on that one, letting that one fly to the right side. He's got Will Black down at about the five yard line, dragging those toes. Goal to go now for Montana State. McPherson looking to throw. He's got Black, but he's going to be shy of the end zone. Second down and goal. It's going to be a quarterback sneak, and McPherson is in. Touchdown, Bobcats. And we're going to take the six-point lead now after we are able to hit our next extra point. Clint Cooper throwing that one over the middle, and that needs to be an interception if you're Montana State right there. Just a terrible throw. Now Cooper looking to throw, and they do eventually throw the screen. That was set up there for a few seconds, so everyone on the Bobcat defense saw what was coming there. Poorly executed, and they're going to go three and out. Punching this one away to Marcus Lumpkin at about the 33-yard line. He's going to return this one, makes a move inside there, and we're going to be starting off this next drive in Montana territory. Officially at the 35-yard line now, trying to set up a screen of our own, but it does not work. McPherson unable to get the pass off. He gets sacked for a loss of nine. McPherson rolling to Hazel Wright, throwing that one on the move, and we're going to pick up first down yardage and more. It's Will Black getting us just inside of the red zone. McPherson wants to throw the football again. He's under some duress. Flush to his left, and he's going to pick up whatever he can with his legs. It's going to be about two yards. Third down and six. It just got a little bit easier. Offsides on the Grizzlies. So now it's going to be third down and one. McPherson looking to throw now. Pressure to his right, and he's going to try to do a little bit of a dance in the backfield there. Instead of just throwing the football away, we're going to get sacked, and that's going to bring up fourth down and 12. Bring out Gabriel Fields for the field goal. He missed his extra point earlier, but he's going to nail this field goal. Montana State extends their lead out to nine. Cooper trying to put together a two-minute drill now for the Grizzlies, but maybe you should think again. Picked off by Eddie Fine at midfield. What a play there for Montana State. What a pick there for Eddie Fine. And with 42 seconds left, the Bobcats are looking to extend their lead. McPherson to the right side. He's got Marcus Lumpkin at the 17-yard line. A great throw and catch. McPherson looking to throw again. Going to the end zone and just a little bit off the mark looking Marcus's way again. Brett McPherson over the middle. He's got Will Black. Breaks the play and touchdown. Montana State. What a throw right over the middle there. And an even better catch by Will Black to hold onto the football and get it across the plane there. Now still thinking about a two-minute drill, but we put that to rest very quickly as Clint Cooper is going to be sacked in the play. That takes us to halftime where the Bobcats are up 23-7. We also get the football to start off the second half now. Nathan Cronin goes right up the middle, picking up a gain of 966 rushing yards for the Bobcats. Only one for the Grizzlies today. And we're gonna just gonna you know keep on running the football. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. 76 yards to Ryan Carter's name. Now off the play fake, McPherson's got time in the pocket, letting this one fly across the field, and it's going to be intercepted by Coleman. Pretty much an arm punt there, although we were not in a situation where we would have been able to, or where we, where we were going to punt the football away. I like the shot downfield, but uh, maybe put a little bit more arm behind it. Actually throw that a little bit sooner, because that was still a big-time throw. It was just a tad underthrown. Speaking of big-time throws, the Grizzlies are coming out and heaving it downfield to Thompson. They were in danger of possibly a safety there, but they get all the way out to midfield. Now Doby on the direct snap. He's going to take it up the middle for a pickup of seven. And now Cooper on the quarterback draw is going to be denied. Taking a big hit as he goes up the middle there. Handoff goes to Dobby, and he's going to get swarmed in the backfield. Big time tackle for loss by this Bobcat defense. So after the big play there by the Grizzlies, we force him to punt. Montana State looking to extend this lead now. Brett McPherson to the left side, and that was just ugly intended for Marcus Lumpkin. Every now and then, he just lets a throw get away from him. He's looking to throw again here. Pass tipped over the middle. Should have been picked off. Got away with one there, and the Grizzlies will take over with some good field position. That pass is going to be broken up there. Good play made by the linebacker. Spreading things out on third and ten. Cooper to throw over the middle, and it's going to be incomplete. That looks like it very well could have been a completion, but instead the Grizzlies having to punt the football away yet again. Cronin to the right side. He's going to pick up another gain of nine. It's going to be second down in inches. Hit him with the fullback dive, and Lewis has got it. 13 first downs for the Bobcats today. Final play of the third quarter, and McPherson's letting this one fly deep and just out of reach for Marcus Lumpkin. 
That takes us to the fourth quarter now. Can Montana State hold on to this lead? McPherson rolling to his left. He's going to stop and float that one over the middle, getting away with another one there. There's also a flag down holding on the Bobcats. They're going to decline that. So the Grizzlies, do they have a fourth quarter comeback in them? Cooper stepping up in the pocket, and that pass just got away from him, sailing out of bounds. Looking at the time of possession there, Montana State's been dominating. And that incomplete pass comes on third down. Montana State back on the field, and they pull out some trickery here, emptying out the playbook, and they get a halfback pass. Now over the middle, we got Will Black going up there, making that catch. That puts him over 100 yards today as he gets down to the five-yard line. McPherson throwing that one to Murphy, and we're going to be down at the goal line. Third down and goal. Trying to punch this one up the gut there with Carter. We've got it. Touchdown, Montana State. Just adding on to this lead that we've got so far, as after this extra point, we should be up by 23. Fields for the extra point. Nope, it's actually going to be a fake. Matt Henshaw to throw. He's got Dunbar, who now has a touchdown and a two-point conversion. This rivalry is real, and the Montana State Bobcats have no respect for the Grizzlies. Picked off there by Williams. Montana just can't have anything go their way today. The fans here in Bozeman are loving it. Third down and four. McPherson looking to throw. Going to that left side. What a catch by Lumpkin. Dragging the toes. Gets down to the nine-yard line. Sets up goal to go. We would end up having to just kick a Gabriel Fields field goal. The kick is up and good. The Grizzlies just trying to do something here. Cooper is going to get taken down there. And Montana State would actually burn some timeouts and force the Grizzlies to punt the football away yet again. So with two seconds left, we're just looking to pad the stats. Absolutely no respect here for the Grizzlies. Going deep for Lumpkin. He brings it in, but 10 yards shy of the end zone. But that will pad the stats a little bit as the Bobcats dominate. 34-7, 10-3 against the Grizzlies throughout this series. And this rivalry, I mean, it's real. These two teams really don't like each other. And it was evident here as Montana State just kept their foot on the gas. Looking at the stats, Brett McPherson, 13 of 27, so not a great completion percentage, but he had over 200 yards, two touchdowns, two not great interceptions, though. Ryan Carter, also in the trick play, got a nice completion. We did a good job running the football, over 100 yards combined between Carter and Cronin. Receiving wise, we had two 100-yard receivers. Marcus Lumpkin, that big play, at the, at the final play of the game, really did help him with that, and then Will Black also had a great game. The offensive line did give up a couple of sacks, but overall they had a good game, and then defense I mean, we only allowed seven points, and that was it. We got two sacks, got two interceptions, just all-around dominance there. Gabriel Fields, two for two on field goals. He did miss one of those extra points, though, of course. Looking at the other games inside of the conference, Portland State defeats Weber State by 7, 34 to 27. You have NAU with a beatdown on Eastern Washington, 45 to 28. Not really a beatdown as Eastern Washington did have a big time fourth quarter. You have Idaho State. They defeat FIU in a shootout, 45 to 42. And Idaho gets dominated by Sacramento State, 31 to 6. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is always appreciated. And until next time now, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.